Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, uh, the church events that are happening today, we have no events happening here in the this, in 35 degree Armour Road, but uh, there is Celebrate Recovery tonight for men and for women at 6.30 p.m. at Full Gospel Center in their sanctuary. Full Gospel Center is near Arlington High School. It's across that roundabout there on the other side of uh, the 55 and uh, and just a little bit up the road there from, from Arlington High School. So check it out. There's a group for men, a group for women. Both of them happen at 6.30, and they start off in the sanctuary there at, at uh, Full Gospel Center. On Sunday, I preached about uh, out of John chapter 1, verse 4. John chapter 1, verse 4, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing that Jesus has life in him, in him is life. And I, I use this passage, John chapter five, verse 26, to talk about this. For as the father has life in himself, so he is granted the son also to have life in himself. The father has life in himself and so does the son. Um, and what does that mean? I, 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 uh, I always remember, when I think about this, I always remember a little video that I saw many, many years ago when I was a college student. Um, there was a, a video that was put out by InterVarsity's uh, 2100 Productions. It's their, it's their video production arm uh, in InterVarsity. And it's a video about a little desk lamp. And it looks kind of like the Pixar desk lamp. It's like a little tiny uh, you know, uh, lamp with a, a swing arm, right? And, and a light bulb and, and, and a cord, right? And one of the things that the Pixar lamp doesn't have is a cord. And so this... Um, this little desk lamp is looking around, sitting on the desk, and looks around, and it jumps around, you know, in that kind of the way that the Pixar lamp jumps around. It's, it's a little hops on the desk, and it looks around, and it goes and explores, and it looks at the books on the desk, and it hops around, and it looks at the stapler or whatever. And uh, eventually, as it hops around, it comes to the end of its cord, and it can't hop any further. And uh, the lamp is like, mm, looks around, you know, and, and finally the lamp is like, wants to go further than its cord would allow it to. And so it pulls and it hops, hops and it, it pushes in that direction and strains and strains and strains. And finally the cord pops out of the socket, uh, the, the, the plug uh, so pops out of the socket in the wall. And the last thing you see is the light bulb going out on the lamp and it goes, uh oh. Right. It says pulling at the end of its cord, right? It wants to uh, it wants to go further than its cord allows, but in, in doing so, it disconnects from the source of its its life. And and that's how I always think about this question of Jesus having life in himself and giving life to us. Jesus is like the socket that we are plugged into. And we can uh, when we're plugged into Jesus, we can hop around to our hearts content. Um, but it, when we when we pull on our cord and we want to be set free from Jesus, we disconnect from the source of our life, then of course the result of that is death. If we're plugged into Jesus, the source of life, of course we're alive. And if we're not plugged into Jesus, of course we're dead. Uh, there's, it's not even like a punishment. It's, it's just a consequence uh, of disconnecting from the source of all life. Jesus has life in himself and he gives life abundantly to anyone who's plugged into him that's the way it works it's like a lamp plugged into a, a light to a wall socket right um, the lamp has life as long as it's plugged into the socket and you know, it's it's really tempting for you and I oftentimes to want to pull beyond the length of our cord to want to disconnect from the source of all life. But the truth of the matter is, if we disconnect from Jesus in order to pursue something else, the end result of that is not more life, but the end result of that is, is death. And while for us, disconnecting from Jesus might not result in instantaneous death, it's not like the, the lamp disconnects from the, the cord and suddenly, all immediately, the, the light bulb goes out. But, um, but, 
even though it's not immediate, like it happens in that second, um, it is just as as uh, as certain and just as sure that disconnecting from the source of life uh, results in our eventual death. Um, this is the way of things, right? If you disconnect from life, you're going to wind up in a, in a place of death. And But of course, the gift of God is that when we are plugged into Jesus, he gives us a life that we could not even imagine. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it, it contains hardship. It's a life of hardship. It's a life often of difficulty, but it's a life of joy and peace and righteousness, a life where, where we become uh, life givers to others as well. Uh, although we are dependent for our lives on Jesus, whereas Jesus is independent, uh, we are able to give life to others rather than suck life out of them. Um, and that's a wonderful place to be. Uh, and that's God's desire for each one of us. The reason God wants us plugged into him is that we might have life and we might give that life away. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you give us life. Lord, we trust ourselves to you. Lord, I, I lift up to you the Celebrate Recovery Group tonight. Thank you that these are people who are wanting to plug their lives into you and, and get their lives centered around you. Lord, I pray that you would bless them as they seek to, to uh, get help in their hurts, their habits, and their hangups, so that they, and also to help others with theirs. Lord, please bless the Celebrate Recovery Group, bless their, their meetings, bless the people who are involved in it, I pray. And bless each one of us, Lord, as we strive to follow after you, to strive to, to be plugged into you. In Jesus' name. Well, thank you for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.